Oh yeah, check out this action right here. Look. Yep, yep. I know what you're thinking. Anyways, let's get to it. There's a few things initially that just really impressed me about this manufacturer. One is the case. I hate cases that are just, it's like you have to force everything in there. You have no space for anything extra. Uh, this is a nice case. There's the brand. All right. Also, as far as the longevity and durability, check the description. Anytime I do a review, I will go back and mention uh, if there were problems. I'll mention that in the description. All right, so what I found impressive, just the overall feel, I mean, this thing is sturdy. So you know the sticky film that you peel off the screen? Well, I almost just peeled it off and then I noticed that it was double layer. And so you peel off that layer, the first layer, and there's a screen protector underneath. That's, that's brilliant. Um, also, it comes with an SD card. You know, I find it ridiculous that you buy these tools and then they don't even include a freaking SD card. Also, the charging port is USB-C. I also find it ridiculous that these major manufacturers like Milwaukee are still putting out stuff that's micro USB. <laughs> it's mind blowing. Why, why do they do that? All right. Uh, this is the 0.33, uh, can like, I guess camera size. The 0.25 is like a hundred dollars more. And I just didn't feel like it was, it was worth it. This is plenty good enough. I'll just drill a, drill a bigger hole if I need it. Right. And this, this was brilliant here. So when I first got this, I, this is, it is kind of stiff. I, I didn't realize that the wheel is down here. And what that allows you to do is really just easily put the torque on it. But this thing will go all the way to 180, which is crazy. All right, so. Nice, a lot of LEDs. Very, it's very, very bright. It's got a really nice feel as far as the flex. You know, super easy to manipulate and stays in place. This this is one of the nicest feeling flex camera ends that I've ever messed with. Now, we're gonna do something that was basically impossible with the Klein and any standard uh, bore scope. We're gonna try to look at my drain pan, which is above my oil furnace heat exchanger, all right? Let's go do that. Well, actually, let me just show you. Okay, let's just look at this real quick. Okay, there we go. The light comes on in high mode, which is very bright. I mean, it really throws the light out, okay? Now, my camera's kind of washing out the screen, but this screen is, is really nice. I mean, the... You can flip the image, and then of course you've got settings to dim. Well, dang, I, I haven't quite learned this interface. Okay, there, and that's important because sometimes you're up real close and a bright light can wash wash out what you're trying to look at. Got a weasel around this cord here. <laughs> My wife absolutely hates it down here. <laughs> I keep this door locked. <laughs> uh, anyways, here's the access panel I created just for um, checking things out inside the furnace. So I'm gonna get that off there, get the camera in there, and then we're gonna look at some stuff. All right, let's look at the obstacle course that this camera's gonna have to navigate through. So, it's going to have to get up above this heat exchanger in this little gap here and go in there and turn to look at the drain pan. 
like I said, nearly impossible with a normal bore scope. Okay, I'm in there now. And without moving the camera, I am able to inspect pretty much the entire drain pan. And I'm, I'm doing this one-handed, which it's, it's at least twice as easy with two hands. And yes, I, because of a viewer comment, I am trying to get a really nice tripod, <laughs> which will come in handy. But anyways, there's my coil up there. See that? Articulating and that's, that's where it's at. I mean, really, it is so important to be able to adjust the camera inside of whatever you're looking at. All right. Well, hopefully this works out. I, I hate to say so many good things and then have it crap out, but initial impressions are extremely good. Transformer Rescue Fuse Prototypes. Oh yeah, <laughs> love those things.